Hello ladies, Mel Chan, and welcome to another tank review. Today we are looking at the SU-100, the Russian Tier 6 tank destroyer. Best described in three words, tent with a gun. It's the camper's dream, it's quite OP, but it's not that bad, it's boring as fuck to play. Armor wise, there's not much to talk about here. Apart from the gun metal, which is made out of Stalin himself. This gun mantlet is fucking ridiculous. The gun mantlets and all the Russian TDs in the high alpha damage line is just stupid, stupid amount of armor. Uh, but other than that, the tank is made out of. Well, it basically is a tent, so don't expect to bounce much. And yeah, that's everything really I have to say because the f replay is long as fuck, and I don't want to make this video too long, so let's get into the replay. So here we go, playing on El Haruf. Tier 8 game, don't give a shit, I... But the SU-100, that's the thing, you don't care what matchmaking you're in. The only thing you care about is the map. Since you're more or less gonna sit still for at least 6 or 5 minutes, if the game goes well, then you really don't give a shit where, what map you're on. And here we go, it took me 30 seconds to get, well, yeah, around 30 seconds to get into my position, and I won't leave this position for at least six or seven minutes so enjoy this video should should i put on some elevator music or what i don't even know what to say about this tank well basically you get a kv1s with a good camo value and no turret and a little bit faster reload with a little bit less hit points that's more or less everything you get here i think the gun might be slightly more accurate but it's not that big of a deal so yeah you can use the 100 millimeter gun it's probably better but i just like to like to hit my enemies a bit harder and 390 alpha is pretty good for a tier 6 tank destroyer saying pretty good means that most other nations have to wait till tier 8 to get more than 390 average damage per shot which is a bit ridiculous but whatever so the SU-100 it doesn't turn well the gun as you see it's Russian so the accuracy is extremely good no matter what the numbers say and 175 penetration is uh, really, really good for tier 7 as well, again. My gunner Victor has drank enough vodka to hit whatever I am at, so good, good job gunner, very nice. That really is ridiculous, I should never have hit that shot. Whatever, I'll probably miss the next one, or maybe not, what's... Oh my god, it doesn't even matter what's the distance. I'm pretty sure this blind shot hit. One blind shot hit in this game, I'm pretty sure this is the blind shot that hit. Um, I guess, because no other blind shots were even close to hitting anything. You might notice that weird ammo layout, to say the least. Well, that's because I have never bothered to change it, because in this tank you usually don't run out of ammo. But in some games you actually could. Uh... I wouldn't recommend taking it. 14 AT shells, but like 6, 7, easy. No big deal at all. Uh, yeah, SU-100, as you see, it involves a lot of skill. You just sit in one spot and aim. It's basically almost like playing Arty, only uh, slightly different, because you actually have to see the shit you shoot at. It has to be in line of sight, which is a major, major disadvantage, and that's that puts most people off from playing TDs and they stick to their arties, but it's not that hard. So, equipment I use is rammer, vents and binos. Some people use camo, I don't really care about the camo so much. Uh, but the yeah, air camo is really viable as well on this. Since you only have 588 points and the av your average KV1S player hits for 390, skills rare like repair are completely useless on this tank. So, complete camel crew, sixth sense obviously, and snapshot and the uh, uh, smooth ride is nice as well, just to aim less. But, uh, other than that, there's nothing really important for this tank, apart from karma, obviously. As you see, my gunner is really OP in this game. That hit the roof of the fucking IS-3. It's a really, really strong gunner. And here I make the first mistake in this game. I thought, like, the FCM just gets shot, I'll just leave him to die to somebody else. He's a complete idiot new player, but that was a mistake. You never should look at players like that. Even though he is a complete idiot. I was, like, still thinking maybe I should kill him since nobody else did. But then again, I thought I might... 
harm this guy way more if I pen him, but uh, in this angle I couldn't really pen him properly. So that was a mistake, I should have killed that FCM, no doubt about it. So this gameplay is so fucking interesting that I'm 5 minutes into 15 minute video and I already have nothing else to say about this tank. Because there isn't much. The only thing that really makes this tank is the camo value and the good gun. And other than that the tank is more or less garbage and there's nothing really to say other than that. Since I had these HE shells I should have loaded HE here and tried to get some damage on that 110 but I didn't think about it at the time so I'm not shooting HE and he is actually blind shooting me and I actually tracked him again there and since he's blind shooting I don't really want to get hit by that gun when he blind shoots so I'm gonna move away from the rock a bit and he misses again. I really should have loaded HE here though. I'm still looking for a shot and the only way I can pen him is the cupola that would be super lucky but I wasn't that lucky so no it doesn't matter. Trying to get this Hellcat and actually this was the blind blind damage that I did in this game, I didn't hit that FCM. 6 AP shells left and 14 HE, at least I have that going for me. So it, about this tank, if you really don't like to play this game a lot and you just want to sit there and play it with one hand while you do what, whatever you like to do with the other hand, SU100! Totally recommend! It will require your other hand only for like two minutes every game and then you can just chill and play with one hand. It's so 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 hard. Such hard tank to play. Basically you find a good vantage spot that's around 400 meters away from your enemies and you're golden. That's everything you need to do there. Now just putting some pressure on Cheeto. I should have probably loaded HE but then again you don't really want to roll like 100 damage on those chaps. That would be really sour for me. But he's dead. 4 AP left and yeah what else can I say here should probably relocate to get some better shots and actually some action 478 points still not a one shot which is all that matters really rear range on Desu 100 is much better than on the previous Desu 85 or whatever that shit was called but it's still pretty bad so Binos is, is more or less a must if you actually want to see something and yeah, Russian accuracy. Victor, let's show them how this is done. You see that 87 is really far away. I don't give a shit. I track you anyways. This gun is sometimes a big fucking joke. After they changed accuracy on the tanks, tanks like this have enough accuracy to hit whatever you aim at. And that is ridiculous. The tanks that have like 0.34 or 0.32, that's just fucking bullshit. You don't need that at all. Those changes completely broke tanks like the ISU, which gets insane rate of fire, and a gun with shit accuracy, which is supposed to be not able to hit anything, but it's able to hit everything because it's Russian, and because accuracy doesn't matter as long as it's better than 0.6 with better aiming time than 2.9 seconds. Well, or 2.9. Oh, 3.4 is fine as well, what am I saying? Aiming time doesn't matter, you just sit there a bit longer. That's all that matters. And, yeah. I think these Russian TDs are slightly OP, the playstyle, however, the playstyle you have to kind of follow is really, really fucking lame, it requires a lot of fucking camping, it's boring as fuck, and I really don't like these tank destroyers at all. Whenever you play aggressive, you get one shot and then your game is over, which is really sour, because uh, even the other TD line, the low alpha guns, the SU-100 M1, even those... Sh are campy as fuck and I really don't see how they're better how the tier 7 is better than this tier 6 and it's really stupid whatever this game has dragged on for a long long time now and it's still everybody's game because our tier 8s are fucking chimpanzees most of them at least but look I'm back to my rock I was here 10 minutes ago nothing has really changed but really, the playing style of these tanks is so fucking lame. I could um, I might as well not move there and uh, sat here for 10 minutes straight. But then again, it didn't really matter. These positions are both really good for camp ETDs like this one. And that is really putting me off to play this more often. And I'm not gonna grind it in one sitting like I do with my medium tanks. Because they're actually fun to play. And yeah, this is not fun to play. This is as far as... As far from fun to play as uh, as far as it gets. 
you know, the shooting somebody once and then laughing at him is not really what I do. I, I like to kill them and then laugh at them. And this tank is not really good for that. It's good for shooting somebody once and then you're spotted and then you pull back and then, yeah, you let your team kill them. Because SU-100 best scout. When your team is as shit as this one, SU-100 scout. Look at our caravan. It's quite clear that the AC-48 is going around. I left my position because that caravan was coming... To me, and basically, I'll get sh killed in the back because the nobody's watching that. Uh, nobody's watching the 48, and I can't really get spotted here, so I don't really want to shoot the Jackson because the, I 100% that AC 48 is climbing at the K K line. No, not K line. The line before that, whatever. Uh, but yeah, he's climbing the hill, and it's gonna be in our base really soon. And guess what? The Jackson killed our only competent tier eight player. So, well, this waffle isn't that bad, but. Uh, the rest, holy shit. I should have really run this video at double time speed. Because there isn't much to miss here. Holy shit. Well, I've done quite a lot of damage now. I've loaded HA. I really don't give a shit. HA will do the job in this game. The 87 I'll probably get the back of him. And the 48 is on the other flank. So it doesn't matter at all for now. And I still have two AP shells. And I haven't lost anything. Well, I could have done a bit more damage on the Indian Panzer. But uh, to get a kill, i completely fine with that HE shell. And would be really not bad to spook him before somebody else shoots him and not to do the, uh, not get the kill on him. That would be really sour. So good thing that didn't happen. And I think we're still fine. And H E is really good for this situation now, especially now when the eighty seven is on hundred hit points. SC one hundred can be a really, really powerful assault vehicle only on and only if you're the like the only top tier in the game. Other otherwise. A 1k one is in the enemy team and you're one shot for whatever else is gonna shoot you next. And that is really, really sour if you wanna play this tank aggressively. It's not really possible. You can like pull off two, maybe three shots, you'll probably miss them all. And you're gonna die. That is the sad truth about the SU-100. It's a really bad tank to play aggressively. It has really low uh, skill ceiling, so what? it doesn't matter who is driving it. Everybody can drive it equally. There's no like... There is some hidden positions you have to know, but that's about it. There's nothing in the game style, play style itself, unless you're a really shaky aim or something. But, yeah, the SU-100 is one of the easiest tanks to play. I'm trying to convince my, my tier 8 Muppets that they really need to go in the cap circle, or otherwise the 48 might draw, but they're not. AT-15 is driving Where were you driving, I don't know. He's not the brightest guy in our team. Then again, not... So isn't the caravan, but he actually realized, holy shit, we might go cap. Which is really weird, usually I don't c encourage people to go cap, but when there's top tier TDs uh, running around on our side of the map, you really should consider capping. So, since we have two people actually capping now, i actually going to go forwards and spot the 48, which is definitely right in front of us now, somewhere there. And it won't be a big surprise if he gets spotted any time now. But I'm gonna go try to get spots on him before he resets our cap so we can actually win this and here it is. So I have two options now to either climb the hill like fully and go behind him or to turn to the right and try to ambush him. I think the ambush to the right is a much better idea because he will have to go and reset this cap uh, pretty damn soon. So I have HE loaded. A flat shot into the 46, 48 side will definitely penetrate. Those things have absolutely no side armor. And the HE pen on this is pretty bad, but it should be enough. It's like 50 or 60, something like that. It should be enough to penetrate the French uh, TD side armor. So, let's wait and camp some more. Since we're tent with a gun, we might as well pretend like we're one. Here he is. And... Hello. 512 damage in one shot. That is fucking OP. And he didn't turn like he should have. He didn't take the shot that he should have. And now he can't kill me anymore. <laughs> this TD is just fucking stupid. <laughs> that HE shell was actually quite nice. I actually benefited from having that a so many HE shells in this game. Because I, I wouldn't be able to pull up that uh, 512 roll. Not even close to that with AP. And that is kind of hilarious. The HE roll on the, the HE average damage on this show is like 465, but rolling 512 with a tier 6 tank destroyer is quite retarded. And yeah, that's everything I have to say about this game. It's quite retarded. You camp and you get a lot of damage and you get a shitload of experience because it's really hard to play these tanks. You, trust me, I know. 
This video has been way too long, but let's quickly go through the end plays. So, 4,950 experience with a double, obviously. 4,000 damage done, 600 spotting. Top on experience, top on damage. Duh. And yeah, that's about everything there is to say about it. It's a tent with a gun. The gun is really OP. The tech is boring as fuck to play. So, yeah. Tent with a gun. What else can I say? I'm gonna get uh, both tier 7 TDs pretty soon though, so I'll get rid of this pretty soon as well. Hope you enjoyed this long ass fucking video. I don't know why would you, but I'll see you on the next one.